Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks for joining me on this next installment of Learn to Spin from Fleece Workshop. This is uh, an introduction to drop spindle spinning. And this is the first of the spinning um, installments for this series. So, here I have a spindle that I've made and that you can find in my shop at fairlyfiberfun.fibercrafty.com. So, first we have a whorl, which is the round part here, and the shaft, and the hook. And that is it. That is what a spindle is made out of. So this is a top whorl spindle because the whorl is near the top of the, set, of the shaft. The long part down here is where we're going to store the yarn as we're spinning it. Now the only other thing we need is a leader. This is some scrap yarn I've got laying around, and I broke off a, a piece that's pretty big. And I'm just going to tie a little knot in the end. And then I'm going to cinch this onto the spindle shaft. So I have my fingers through the end that I've knotted, and I'm taking the folded end and putting it through that. I'm going to push it down to the till it's snug against the whorl. And then I'm going to twist some of the leader on there to hold it in place. And then all you do is you bring your leader up and around the hook once or twice, and you're ready to spin. So when you're spinning with a top whorl spindle, you want to twirl your spindle clockwise. And you can either use your right hand to twirl it, or use your left hand to twirl it. I tend to hold my fiber in my right hand, so I'm going to show you this way. Now I'm letting it back twist so you can see how that is. I do recommend you just take some time to practice twirling the spindle and get, kind of get the hang of how it feels as the yarn goes up into the leader and all of that. So let's go get some fiber and get started, shall we? Alright, so now that we have our spindle ready to go, let's talk fiber. And I find the easiest way to spin is from a roll log. So, so um, this roll log has been beautifully carded from raw fleece that I scoured myself. And it's done on the hand carters. And I'm just drafting out a little bit of this so that it's a little bit easier to spin, but you don't have to. So I'm going to show you that, spinning with this, and then I'll show you spinning without all that pre-drafting, because this is pretty loose and easy to spin, or easy to draft. So drafting is where you take your fibers and slide them apart so they're a little bit thinner and uh, if you slide them apart too far, it breaks, but, you know, I just did that, separated it, and I will show you how to fix that in just a little bit. So, if you have a little extra fiber to play with, play with, uh, you should definitely play with um, the drafting and get kind of get the feel for it. Every fiber is going to be a little bit different. Some are short, some are long. And typically you want to draft about half the distance of your staple length, which is the length of one individual fiber. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is wrap this around my wrist just so it stays out of the way. taking some of the fiber and folding it through the loop, the leader, and I'm going to pinch right there. I'm not going to let any twist go up past that leader. I am pinching right where the leader and the fiber meet. And now I'm going to give this a flick clockwise. And when it stops spinning, because it's got too much twist in it to spin anymore, then I'm going to put it between my knees and switch hands here, pinching 
so that none of the twist goes up into the fiber supply. Move my hands back here where I still have it overlapped a bit. Pinch there with the top hand and let go with the bottom hand and the twist just jumps right up there. Now I've still got a lot of twist in the leader so I'm going to grab and draft back a little bit and let go. Now if I do that anymore there won't be enough twist in the leader so it's time to twist again. Um, so don't forget to pinch with the top hand. Do not let any twist go up in the fiber. Lift your spindle up and give it another clockwise twist. If you spin counterclockwise now, your fiber will unspin, unspin, and your spindle will drop. So we're going to add some more twist. Put it between the knees, or if you're standing up, park it underneath your underarm. Pull back some of the fiber a little ways, and release. Now, if you've pre-drafted like this, you really don't need to pull back any. Give it another twirl. Stick it between the legs, the knees, and keep going. You don't want to draft so far that your yarn doesn't want to hold together. So sometimes I'll give it a little tug to see how strong it is. And if I like the way it feels, it's slightly bouncy, but it's not coming apart, it's perfectly fine. So now I'm going to unwind it from the spindle hook, wind it around the shaft. Leaving a good, I don't know, six, eight inches of yarn and hook it back around the hook. Now give it another clockwise twirl and repeat. What happens if your yarn, if your fiber comes apart? Well, if the end is fluffy like this, all you do is overlap. And I have pinched the tip end of the new fiber between my thumb and finger, and I'm going to roll the twist into that and let the twist go up. And it will hold together. You need a little extra twist when you do that. And there you have it. Now let's say that you have allowed the twist to go all the way up to the tip. And it broke after it was spun. So there's, there's really no fluff right here. It's a little bit more difficult than that. So what you want to do is untwist a bit and pull it apart so that the end becomes fluffy. And then you overlap and allow the twist to go back into it just like before. And when you're, you get tired of having your arm above your head, then you wrap the yarn around the spindle shaft and hook it back around the hook. And this is what it looks like without the parking. Where you're letting the spindle draft up. Where you're letting the spindle drop towards the ground. Now let's say you want to spin without pre-drafting the lock. You want to overlap the last two or three inches of your yarn that you just spun that is actually not got any twist in it with a fluffy end of the rollock. So if your rollock doesn't have any fluff at the end, you want to pull out a little bit like that. Attach it together and let the twist go up into that. OK, 
okay, but how do you get, how do you control the thickness of your yarn? And yes, you are the one that controls that. Well, go back a little farther into your fiber supply and don't pull it apart as much. And it'll pull more fiber into your new um, yarn, so it'll be a little bit thicker. I'm going to do that again. So normally I would pinch way down here. I'm going to actually go up into the fiber supply a little bit. And I'm going to let it be nice and thick here. See that? And now I have way too much twist in this, so I'm going to do some more. i got to remember, we all have to remember, when you're spinning thicker yarn, doesn't need as much twist. When you're spinning thin yarn, it needs a lot of twist. I usually spin thin, but that's my way of spinning. You will find your way of spinning. So here I'm loading up again with twist, and now I'm going to draft out really thin. Let that twist go up. Let me see how thin I can get this. Remember, the thinner it is, the more twist you need. So there you have how to spin from a roll log in two different ways. Thanks for watching.